Have you ever wanted anonymous people tracking, but thermal imaging systems were just too expensive? You've got to check out Kalumino. Hey, it's Aim with IP Exchange. We're here at Wirepass Open 2024. I'm here talking with Owen from Kalumino, and they have a very disruptive sensor, um, which isn't actually much to do with Wirepass uh, in itself, is it? So, uh, Owen, can you... Um, yes. Uh, first of all, just introduce uh, yourself and what you do at Kalumino, and then uh, what Kalumino does. With pleasure. So, my name's Owen. I am the field application engineer at Calumino, and Calumino is a hardware and computer vision startup that is revolutionizing the infrared and thermal sector. Cool, so very quickly, what is your relationship to Wirepass before so, we go into the technology? Yes, of course. So Wirepass is one of our uh, protocols that we use and that we integrate with to communicate wirelessly our sensor with other sensors in a mesh network that allow us basically to transmit data uh, in an efficient way. Nice. And uh, yes, yeah, so what are we seeing here? And I, I guess this is coming from effectively one of these, but it's is, is it this one? Yes. It, yeah. No, no, so it's actually uh, above oh, your this head. One. Yeah, okay. So what you're seeing here is a, a sensor feed that basically is showing uh, infrared imagery. So we create a low resolution thermal image using our proprietary technology, which is here. Um, and so what we've done is we've basically installed that above us uh, as a demo, mm. and that is the typical install location uh, at site. So that'll be you know in a roof space, for yeah. example. And what you can see here is the the feed that we get from the device, plus the output that we have here, which is the person count. So cool. in a 40 square meter uh, area, okay. we can see the person count, and we can also see exactly where in the space in that 40 square meter those people are existing in that space. Nice. So. Um uh, before we get onto like applications, yeah. so this is this is IR sensing. What are the benefits of that over, say, a camera or uh, another type of thing? Because I mean, this is this is pretty high. Re re well, it's, it's low but high resolution. We can still tell those people. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so we created a low-resolution thermal image, and the mm -hmm. benefit over that, over cameras, for example, is uh, I suppose privacy. So what we're doing here is we're detecting the infrared heat long wave infrared and basically we can see uh, in our solution and in our you know uh, customer solutions there's actually a film above the sensor itself okay. um, and so there's no imagery that's captured by our sensor mm. comparing that to some yeah. other examples like you mentioned cameras and nice. um, we don't take any imagery whatsoever so people can act comfortably in their space mm. whether it's a hotel whether it's an office space uh, and so we basically create that privacy sensitive solution that is very popular moving forward uh, and we'll see that in the coming years I'm sure in Europe. Cool, so in, in terms of applications I, I can I can kind of glean a few from there like being able to tell if someone's in a room for example yep. but um, in, in the wider sense where do you see this being used like in, yeah. in like a broad sense? Of course, so yeah. I see this progression from uh, the PIR Oh, yeah, yeah. Example. So the amount of data that we're able to achieve from our sensor compared to something like a PIR, of course, is not only the person count, but as I mentioned, the exact location of the person in yeah. the space. So when you look at other applications, um, you can you know, identify areas of interest in that space. Um, and so that allows us to you know, create monitoring of, of, of space that's of interest to building owners. Um, you know, for example, workplaces, uh, the number of people going in and out of a room, for example, in hotels, but also in healthcare, in privacy okay. and in security, um, automation, um, energy efficiency, you know, so using that kind of level of detail that we're able to achieve yeah. from this sensor to increase, for example, the, uh, the power output of a, of a you know, HVAC system, for example, okay. or lighting system, and really have the data to be able to make the most smart building that we can. Nice. And if uh, Kalumi, uh, I, I mispronounced yeah. it at the beginning, didn't I? Kalumino. Kalumino. Well, if, to be honest with you, yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. I get it wrong myself. But, yeah. Yeah. If uh, Kalumino um, wasn't around, what would people have to use at the moment um, by comparison? Because obviously this, this gives much better privacy. And I'm assuming most PR, uh, PIR sensors are effectively just, is there something there or not, rather than any level of detail. I mean, I can see my, my arms here. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So yes, as you mentioned, PIRs. Yeah. Um, there are other people that have tried to create uh, low resolution thermal images before. Those examples are thermal pile technology. Oh, okay, um, yeah, yeah. Thermal pile technology 
has a yeah, it has it has its issues performance wise, and there's a lot of noise involved in mm. that. Our system is fully optical actually, okay. and so that is why we're able to achieve the kind of level of accuracy mm. um, when it comes to pixel level temperature reading. Um, that's that's our difference compared to the likes of the the thermal pile. Looking above then as well, there's also uh, the likes of flare with oh yeah yeah micro bolometer technology yeah um, and so with that micro bolometer technology obviously the cost is yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty high um, yeah. and so looking at this and why we look at you know describing our technology as mass market mm. is because it's affordable and it'll only become more affordable in the coming years nice so that's that's our difference and that's our kind of unique selling point in this place cool so um I I guess is this the evaluation kit here that this that is the evaluation if, kit. if an engineer was going to try this out they would go for this exactly yes cool. so this is a, an opened up version of our evaluation kit. Okay. Uh, you can see our technology here. Mm -hmm. We have just applied an ESP32 okay. at the bottom. Um, and basically that allows us to stream wirelessly uh, information and allows our customers to evaluate our sensor mm -hmm. over longer periods of time so that they can understand the technology, you know, the level of accuracy that they expect to achieve through the device itself. Um, and so we basically are very forward with allowing our customers to take our EVK test it, understand where it's good, where it's not so good, cool. and then look forward to uh, yeah, integrating with them and, and moving forward that way. So we're, we're very open to integrating and uh, happy to, to work with new customers all the time. Cool. Well, thank you so much, uh, My Owen. My pleasure. Hey, where are my engineers at?